Hi and welcome to my playhouse in the bunker. Um, a couple of videos ago, I my my power station down here uh, stopped responding as it should. So I've been thinking about this, and I think I might want to not use a power station down here. I think I want to keep the bunker at uh, DC power, so I don't need a power station that can convert from um, battery voltage up to 230 volts AC because everything that I have down here is like like DC power usage so I have a switch DC uh, we have Lenovo PCs they run out of 19 volt DC I have a monitor here that even runs from a USB stick and I have the dehumidifier it's, it's sitting right here so that will also reveal what I'm up to because I have a solar charge controller right there and uh, we're gonna try and put in a system for that today so I'm gonna mount a solar charge controller on my wall I'm planning it over here so I've moved stuff a little bit around uh, so I'm gonna put the solar charge controller up there and yeah let's uh, let's get on to that Solar charge controller is the eSmart uh, solar charge controller. This one is the MPPT uh, 40 amp. And the big benefit of it is it, it can do 12 volt, 24 volt, 36 volt, and 48 volts. And it takes in 150 volt uh, DC from the solar panels. So I want to put that up here somewhere, uh, probably as high as it can go and it's kind of heavy i don't really need uh, this is not a big charge controller but it's a bit bigger than it needed to be down here so i could have done with a smaller one but uh, you know this is what i had laying around so i'm gonna use this uh, i should have taken the one when i haven't stripped out the, the connections down here never mind that's fine so i have a plan I am gonna try and use magnets to stick it to the wall up here. So I purchased some good strong neodymium magnets that I hope will hold it in place uh, together with some um, carpet tape. You know the the tape thought that uh, it tapes on both sides. So um, I'm just gonna I'm gonna use this so that the magnets don't slide. The magnets are gonna hold it in place, and this is gonna make it not wanna slide down. So that's the thought anyway. So these are the magnets that I purchased. They're meant to screw in somewhere, and then you have a magnet uh, probably like connected to the wall. Um, they're okay strong, but they slide really easily on this surface, and that one is why I'm, I'm hoping to use the the carpet tape in um, together with this. So, yeah. Okay. So this is good. Okay, I'm gonna put. I don't know how many I need to put on here. I think they stick better to the bunker. Uh, can I get this off again? Uh, I hope so. Yeah, I can. Okay. Okay, here is the back of the box. You can see that I have put the magnets in. Uh, there, I, I forgot one in the middle. I was planning on doing one in the middle, but I did just test it. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. There, and it sits on the wall. Magnetized. Check. I need to take it off again. I do want some tape on the other side, so when I place it, it should stay in there. So this will actually also help to keep the bunker warm because when it work, when it's working hard, it will turn on a fan because the MPPT solar charge controller, uh, well, it uh, produces a bit of heat as well. Okay, it was actually sticking so well to the wall that I decided that I'm only going to put tape in the middle one here. I hope that is good. If it slides down the wall, I, um, I'll fix it. 
But yeah, I need to I need both hands to put this kind of straight on the wall because camera in one hand makes it difficult. Okay, it's up. And I have decided that that's not too bad. So um, now we have the chat controller. We need um, <laughs> we need to um, be able to charge it. Put something in it. Um, charge controller really needs a battery. So uh, I have one of those prepared as well. So uh, a little bit ago I did some reviews of these uh, lithium ion phosphate batteries from Time USB and um, I'm so lucky that when I did that review I got four of these batteries so I have the chance of making every possible configuration with the charge controller. I'm just gonna start out with one of these 12 volt batteries uh, 12 volt 50 amp hours and I think it will sit very nicely over there and I do believe there is room for more so yeah, that's going to be nice. Um, we're going to start connecting that. And that is why I brought some wires. I have connected these are the battery wires. And they're going to go down to the battery. I've already connected the positive one. And I'm getting ready to connect the negative one. I thought we should film that. Not that it's a... Yeah, it could be fun to see it come online. So. I'm gonna connect it and you're gonna see it up here. So. Oh, maybe you're not gonna see it. Oh, there it is. Okay. Uh, booting or doing something? Are you gonna do something? totally wrong. So 12 volt is confirmed. Hmm. Okay, I need to check that. So I have my solar power uh, connection coming in here, which is an XT60 connector. And I have therefore also connected uh, the opposite side of an XT60 connector to the charge controller. So I should just be able to plug that in and we should be charging. So we're gonna try that. Um, let's see if we can manage that. Uh, let's just make sure. one hand that this is stupid. There. Let's see if it sees anything. It sees something, but we need to go check solar. PV voltage. So we have like 29, 28 volts coming in. We can zoom in on that, you can get a better look. Three point four amps and that is about sixty-eight watts. So we're charging the battery right now. Uh, not using the power for anything yet. So we need to do that as well. So this solar charge controller you get like the power from the solar in and that charges the battery and then it controls a load over here so we have the uh, the solar charge controller can control the load so when the battery level becomes too low it will shut off the load so that the battery doesn't become extremely much too low and uh, yeah so you have the possibility of controlling that through the charge controller and uh, by connecting the load there. So we need to go and find something to connect that load. Okay, the dehumidifier is sitting over here next to my camera tripod, which I haven't used yet. Um, I connected, put one of these car clocks on it last time uh, so that it would be easier to put in the power station. So I thought, oh, I think I have one of those things to put this into uh, somewhere. And as I'm, unfortunately, someone who never throws anything away, I found that. <laughs> it's here. It's, um, it's meant to go in a car and you can connect multiple things in your car. A very distasteful thing to do. If, well, never mind. 
but then I, I didn't need the the wire was very long and it had an Anderson connector on it which I did not need in here so I cut the wire and then I just these wires inside of this thing they are so thin ridiculous like 12 volt multiple amps through this thing well that's not a good idea uh, tiny thing uh, I wouldn't a couple of amps or something like that we're gonna be running three amps so uh, that is a, a bit more than you should do but yeah they would probably put this in a truck and you could run your heater or something and the wires are really thick but the the copper inside of it is really thin so just something to be aware of uh, cheating cable thicknesses the insulation is really good the copper wire not so much but we're gonna be using this today uh, so that I am um, well I should change the wire we're not I was negotiating with myself if, if I should do that but we're gonna wait for another time this is uh, probably gonna come up with something else okay the loop time is uh... Oh, that was the wrong button. Oh, dang it. So I need to go all the way around and find the load time again. Load time off. Confirm. There. Select. User. On. Select. And it turns on. And the dehumidifier is on. We are powered. Okay, the humidity down here was very high according to the dehumidifier. So um, this should cut off when uh, when it reaches 60% humidity. And that is relatively compared to the temperature. Uh, it's a bit of a messy setup right now. It's charge control sits very nicely. I like that, uh, and I haven't ruined anything. I can do another setup if I change my mind. I haven't, I haven't drilled any holes or done anything. So, yeah, I wanted the dehumidifier to be running, and I wanted it to be running off solar power. And you can see that, according to itself. It is bringing down the humidity. I did get a suggestion in the last video that I should really get a dehumidifier with a compressor inside. And um, yeah, it is, they are more if, uh, efficient, uses less power, uh, but they also they're bigger, and they um, they use more power when they're running. They don't have to run for as long as as this one. But, yeah, it puts more of a strain on the power system when they're running and you have to build up the power system for kind of worst case scenario. So if the dehumidifier is using like, well, a compressor dehumidifier could, could be using like 100 watts. So you need to be able to supply 100 watts. And most of them run sort of 220 volts. Or 230 volts and uh, yeah this one runs off DC and 12 volts so it's uh, easier to modify for my little needs down here and this is just like 2500 liters of air that needs to be dehumidified there is a real limit to how much water uh, a liter of air can contain and it's not a lot so uh, this amount of space down here can easily be dehumidified into this canister here especially if the air doesn't change too much down here then it's not really an issue the humidity is coming down very nicely so that's cool okay it's uh, bringing down the humidity uh, very nicely I'm gonna try and empty out the canister here this is mostly from last time. Well, the little droplets on top is from now. So, 
it is doing something, and we can kind of see how much it got out of the out of the air uh, last. Well, that was last weekend when I ran it. It's not gonna get. It's it's gonna dry it up, and then it's not gonna give very much for a long time. So I'm gonna get rid of this, and uh, we'll see how long it takes to fill it up again. Not in this video because that is. Now we can take the little canister here and we can take out the water. That wasn't a whole lot. Just a little pee. And I mentioned that I, uh, when I changed the dehumidifier to come on and off by itself, when, uh, when you turn on power, I turn off the sensor that will shut it off when the tank is full but yeah I, uh, everything else would be very complicated to start and messing with the finer electronics in there so yeah that's how we're gonna run it I'm just gonna have to remember to empty the canister when the bunker is dry down here that should really last for months oh, the load uh, it's giving out 13.3 volts, 2 amps, and the uh, dehumidifier is drawing 26 watts, so it's not bad. The solar panels are at the moment supplying 15 point something volts, about an amp, and that's 16 watts, and that's uh, old data, kilowatt hour supply stuff. And uh, the battery is, is at 13.4 volts, uh, 1.2 amps, 1.1 amp coming in, and uh, 10, 12 watts. At the moment the battery is supplying the most power to the dehumidifier because it's such a clouded day. Well, we haven't actually been outside. We've filmed all of this video in the bunker today, so, uh, but yeah, so... The load, 2 amps, and it's 26 watts, 25, 26 watts, so um, yeah, we have used about 21 watt hours so far, so the battery is at 640 watt hours, so it should be able to do this for quite a bit, plus if we get a bit more sun it will be charged up again, and the humidity is dropping very rapidly. Rapidly and rapidly as fast as it can and um, I'm gonna end the video here. So uh, we did do something I think I'm gonna I'm, I'm battling myself. I, I think I want to go with a 48 volt system down here Maybe uh, I'm thinking about that, but how do I get from 48 volts and to power the small Lenovo machines that runs off 19 volts? I think I have a solution for that, but yeah, um, progress nevertheless. So thank you very much for watching my videos, do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again, maybe even outside of the bunker, who knows? Uh, <laughs> have a nice day, bye bye.